नमस्ते एवरीवन होप एवरीबॉडी इज डूइंग वेल पार्श्व ककासना इज अ ट्विस्टेड पोस्चर सो वी वांट टू प्रिपेयर स्पाइन फॉर द ट्विस्ट फर्स्ट द फर्स्ट पोस्चर वी आर डूइंग इज मारिचासना सी चेक दिस लेफ्ट लेग इज स्ट्रेट एंड एक्टिव वी आर मूविंग राइट हैंड बैक द लेफ्ट आर्म शोल्डर गोज आउटसाइड राइट नी exhale and create a twist looking over right shoulder i'm leaning slightly forward so that my spine becomes a little more straight lifting that right hip off the floor and keep pushing right knee towards right wall we are staying here 5 to 7 breaths it's very important to squeeze the navel in keep tightening thigh and the knee cap and with every exhalation we are creating that deeper twist and here after 5 to 7 breaths we want to switch the posture check left foot is a little outside your left hip right knee thigh is straight and active and push that left knee closer that will help you to move right arm a little more outside right let's start to push left knee out flexing that right ankle straight spine your left hip will be slightly lifted and that will help you keep your spine straight let's have navel engaged it's a variation of marucha c if you want to know the techniques of the full posture with the arm bind i have a different tutorial on my channel i'll put the video link in the description box below For the next posture we are coming on all four bring right foot between the hands left toes we want to keep it tucked in palms on the chest exhale and bring left elbow shoulder outside right knee keep that thumb on the middle of the chest and continue twisting the spine looking up if neck feels all right keeping that navel tight and let's focus on the breath it's a variation of parivrata pashvakonasana if you are familiar with the full posture you can drop the left hand outside right foot and the right arm over the head here we are focusing only on the twist and after 5 to 7 breaths we want to switch the side checking left knee and ankle stays in one line back toes we want to keep it tucked in just to have that little extra balance moving opposite uh, shoulder or just the elbow outside left knee and let's exhale and continue twisting deep twisted poses needs a little extra focus on deepening the breath so that's what we want to focus here focus on lengthening inhalation exhalation and that will help you get into the deeper posture easily right let's exhale and release All right so we start with the squat down posture for side crow uh it's the same movement again as you can see we are moving left shoulder outside right knee keeping both the hands on the floor twisting the spine nicely 
Keep pushing the navel into the spine. And now we are lifting the hips up. Bring that knee and hips in line. Pressing the palms on the floor. Check that left elbow is touching your right hip. And use those elbows to create a balance. Use it as a stand. Keep leaning forward. Elbows bend. And you want to slowly lift both the legs off the floor. Look forward in between the hands. Alright, so I want to show the posture from this side now. Check my left elbow is outside right knee. Your right hand is in line with the toes. Left elbow, your back elbow will be resting on the hip. So make sure when you bend the elbow, your right leg, knee and hip is resting on the arms. Look forward, move the chin forward and slowly lift legs off the floor. Remember to push the navel into the spine. That will help you to lift easily. Showing you one technique with the pillow. So check the arms are same. Elbows bend. And we want to shift legs on the pillow. You can have a little extra height as well. Make sure when you bend the elbows, your hip and the knee are resting on the arms. Look forward. Try to lift one foot away from the pillow and maybe the other foot also. If you lose balance in between, we can drop the foot down again. Technique number two, we are bringing pillows in the front, adjusting arms, leaning forward with the head and let's slowly lift legs off the floor. Whenever we are losing balance, we'll lean a little more forward to get that balance from the pillow. And this will also help you to overcome that fear of falling down on the face. And here I'm showing you the actual posture from the back. So I'm twisting on the left side, my right elbow is outside left knee and this is the posture wherein you are leaning only on one elbow which is the actual posture. Once you start finding beginner's version easy, start practicing the actual pose on one elbow. I'm showing you the posture from the side. So we are ready. It's the same technique, the only difference is the back elbow is not touching the hip. Exhale, lean forward only on the front elbow. Keep twisting and you will move heels close to hips. And this is your final side crow posture. Parshvakatasana. I hope you find this helpful. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.